This is the first video from a series of videos covering the New South Wales mathematics content on the topic series. This topic used to be called series and sequences and when the course was revised they removed the sequence part and the focus is on series. But I'm going to just quickly go through what a sequence is and differentiate that from a series. Now we're familiar with sequence of numbers. We've got our counting numbers, that's a sequence of numbers. Our even numbers, that's a sequence of numbers. And I can think of lots and lots and lots of them. 2, 4, 8, 16. They're all different types. There are some that don't follow the usual sorts of patterns, such as the Fibonacci numbers. But these are sequences. They're made up of a set of numbers with different terms. That would be my first term, my second term, my third term, and usually there's a relationship between them. We are focusing on the sum of these terms. And when we write the sequence as a sum of its terms, we refer to it as a series and so on. This course is concerned with two specific types of series. They're called arithmetic and geometric. And we are going to start looking at the arithmetic series. An arithmetic series is one where the difference between consecutive terms is equal. So what do we mean by that? Here's an example, 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 the differences here between the first and the second term is 1. Second term and third term, 1. 1, and we know we're going up by 1s. Here is another one. Again, the differences between the terms stays the same. Here is another one. So in this case, the differences are negative 2 because every time we're taking away 2 to get the next term. We've seen this before. We were introduced to it much earlier in year 7, even earlier at primary school. And then we looked at patterns. And if you reflect on what you would have learned in year 7, we would have, might have had shapes like this. And at every stage, we'd add another set and we'd come up with a table we would have shape lines complete the table and then plot it on a number plane and we always ended up with a straight line so arithmetic series because those differences as we move from one term to the next term one term two term three those differences stay the same, the gap here to here and so on, it ends up giving a linear relationship. But we are not really interested in that aspect of this. We are more interested in trying to figure out what, say, term 100 in this series might be. Or we might want to know, say, what's the sum from here, that's the third term, to the 25th term. We want to know what they add up to. So the mathematics we're going to do is going to be around those specific ideas.